Justin Gaethje has not failed a drug test. That is not true. That rumor has got to stop. Okay, timeout. Years ago, USADA, when they would flag somebody, would bring that to everybody's attention. It was like a boilerplate statement. The only thing that you changed was the, the first and the last name. You put it out to the world. Several times after they would look into this and investigate, they found out that they were wrong. That the person either hadn't done what they were accused of or moreover had taken a substance that was tainted. If you ingest something which you are responsible for, USADA is extremely reasonable that if you had no intent, moreover, you had no knowledge, we're not going to stick that on you. Okay, great. But this had happened a number of times, three or four. And the athletes never really got that reputation back. They never got that time back. They couldn't get that off Google and the searches. They couldn't get any of those sponsors back that they lost. So USADA, USADA realizes what's happening realizes the effects that weren't intended and goes, time out, new, new system. When we flag you, we will contact you and only you. We will quietly hear what you have to say, even if that means we go all the way to arbitration and have to get this ruled upon. However, after all remedies are exhausted and a verdict is final, then and only then will we put this out. Now, I bring that to you because the people that are starting the rumors about Justin Gaethje, it's because Justin has done nothing since October of last year. And so they're using with absolutely no evidence or foundation at all that his inactivity and lack of booking is because he's secretly dealing with this USADA process. I'm just here to tell you it's not true. Not only is it not true, I don't believe the people that are saying it think that it's true. I think that is one of the most underhanded dirtiest ways I have ever heard of somebody trying to get Gaethje to go into a fight. If you're a Gaethje fan and you miss seeing him fight, try telling him that. Hey, Justin, I'm a big fan. I love watching you compete. Hope you get a match soon. Try doing that. To start this, this thread and these rumors about him that are now catching on based on nothing I'm just telling you, I think that is one of the slimiest, if not the number one slimiest tactic of fight promotion, of, of clickbait, I have ever come across, literally. Now, set that aside. Let's stick on the topic of Justin Gaethje. Because Michael Chandler just said, Justin Gaethje is the fight that absolutely has to happen next. And you know what? Chandler's right. That fight between Gaethje and Chandler, I have always wanted to see. I never wanted anything to happen to Khabib. I never wanted anything to happen to Gaethje. But when Chandler was sitting on Fight Island and might, just maybe, and we're not going to know until after the weigh-in if one of the guys fails at the scale or something happens with the protocol, we get, we get the pandemic and all the bubble and all these different things going on. If there's any chance that Chandler's going to get in there with either one of those guys, I fully agree with Chandler. That match needs to happen. Fully. Now, I don't know where Gaethje's at. And I've heard different things. All the way to Dana made a statement one time at a press conference. I might just bring Gaethje off the shelf and put him right back into a title fight. Like those words were said. So the world is very open to Justin Gaethje. I was at the Adesanya fight in Arizona. And they threw to Justin Gaethje. They threw the camera on Justin Gaethje. He pops up on the screens. So I'm well aware that he's from Arizona. Even with that added bump, this crowd went crazy for him. Like, Justin Gaethje's a bigger star than I was fully aware, and I knew he was a big deal. He's, ev he's even bigger than I knew. And I don't know what he's doing right now. I don't know what's with the inactivity. I don't, injury would always be a guess. Lack of motivation is always a guess, not one that he would ever cop to, and one that I would ever expect him to do interviews. If, if you're an unmotivated athlete, you don't want to be. You want to find your motivation. You just know within yourself, I don't have it right now. I've lost my mojo. I've lost my step. I got to get it back. Sometimes that's what you're working for. You're working just to want to do it again. That's okay. Lack of opponent. Is that possible? It seems as though at 155 pounds, I've been arguing for years. If you have any question at 155 pounds, the right answer is Justin Gaethje. Any question. Well, at 155, what should we do? Justin Gaethje. Well, at 155, what happens if this guy, Justin Gaethje, I, I really think that that's the answer. 
I think he solves any problem at 155. And, and Gaethje versus Chandler is extremely compelling. Chandler, when he was making his case for this, said, I have said, this is Chandler speaking, I've said his name no less than 100 times since I got here. By the way, I just got here. Gaethje's been offered me three times and declined three times. We're separated by two spots in the rankings. This is the fight. I didn't know that backstory. I don't know how many times he said Gaethje's name. I don't know what they're ranked or even how to find it. Don't know if Gaethje's been off. Don't care. Chandler's right. That is the fight. That would be one of the epic brawls ever. I mean, those guys are going to go out and go to war. You go look at what a great fight Eddie Alvarez versus Gaethje was. Pore versus Gaethje was. Great, great contest. You're going to have that same thing, right? When you have these two guys that do not back down, and they're not afraid to lose. The fighters that you love to watch, whether you have identified this as a fan or not, but they all have one thing in common, which is they're not afraid to lose. They will go step out there. They will do their best. They will bring their offense. They're well aware that it could go the other way. But the ones that you love, that you enjoy, that are going to be remembered, that you truly will stop what you're doing, you'll bring people together and watch them perform. That's the one commonality they have. They're not afraid to lose. And when it comes down to Chandler and Gaethje, that's exactly what you're going to get. I hope Michael Chandler gets his way. I hope he gets Justin Gaethje.